everyone around you and then you're alone with Invoker and then you're gonna die twice. So this Aegis is not like a huge pickup here. At least I don't think so. And we're probably gonna see that. They're just not gonna focus him. Which is really nice for him because one checker shot and he's dead pretty much. But still, Invoker's not at the point where he can just kill everyone. Like, oh, you're not focusing me? I'm just going to kill all of you then. Oh. It's not at that stage yet. FYI is going to walk into the smoke. GH immediately reacting straight over the bleed. They're popping the epicenter and the static. So there's a lot of hate there for FYI. It's understandable. He's a scary guy. But that's two ults committed for the Scarif Mage. And Arme, some sanking on sanking action as he goes in with the Burrow Strike onto GH. Not quite enough damage to burst him down. And GH, in fact, he's able to blink down and set up for a kill with the Sun Strike. The burst comes through. They will get exed over. But he gets on this. Two man shackle shot. Controls there. It will get cancelled straight away as Arme comes forward with the two man burrow strike. They're trying to turn this one around here by the shrine. LGD, can they chase down any members of Liquid? Liquid, they do have the numbers. Miracle actually coming in from the side. He's able to finish off Somnus. Again, another very big pick off here. Liquid, can they get more out of this? TP coming in towards the shrine. They're fighting in a very risky position, Liquid. But some man getting focused towards. He's got some timing here with the image. Trying to get himself out of this. But Miracle, he's continuing to find these kills. He's got a triple kill. Can he get more out of this? He's punching into this nice look. He's got a lot of resistance with the Crystal Diamond. It's going along. This Miracle with the Ultra Kill. They're looking at War Time. Can they win? But yet a fifth out of this Miracle is incredibly low. They'll turn with the new Garme trying to bring that Miracle. But Miracle, he carries on. They're looking to try and set up for the rap bait. They want to give it to him. I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. He moves in and he gets it. Miracle with the 20 minute rap bait against all odds. Fighting LGD around their shrine. Liquid. I feel like this is the liquid that people have sort of been waiting to see in these games against LGD. On the PL thinking that he was at very least savable. And you can start to kind of feel the tension spread from both teams. Just a little bit of strongman syndrome sort of thing. I mean, I think OG, uh, they got really careless because they were getting kills up, kill after kill. Yeah. You start to gain momentum and you think to yourself like, oh, this is another free kill. And here's another free kill. Yeah. Q is dead. And that's definitely a free kill. I I hope that meant... You know... I always think to myself when I'm dying like this in the Undying, like, do I really want to get the Tombstone on death? Because if you die in a team fight, it's great. But if you die, you know, when you get picked off or whatever, it's just a lot of extra gold for the enemy team. Aggressive pops, BKB, Seb is going to be ruptured. Immediately cold embrace underneath the Zeus, though. Nimbus Cloud, it should be able to do some damage, but they don't want to focus on him. It's first is going to be No Tail. No Tail does die around their shrine, though. Eric still trying to finish off. Eric Sarf does manage to get the time lapse off. Seb is still alive. He's okay, but they already got the Lugona Blade on the Bulb Cup, bring him down to half health. Zeus gets a little bit more damage, but Seb managed to draw the distance on X. X has an and runs it down with a Phantom Rush. And now aggressive. I'm not sure if he can take this fight alone next to SRF is still trying to pick up the supports, but Aggress is going to be run down oh, by the Phantom Lancer. So Phantom Lancer actually managed to get Blood Right Silence, but still they get a stun out from the Dragonite onto Aggressive. Blood Seeker goes down. SRF just can't possibly do the damage. Winter's Curse holds him in place. Bulbacon is not enough. Two of the buybacks coming in. The Undying's going to try and help him out, but and SRF doesn't have the mana. He's already dead. Anna is just too big, and he still has full HP as well. Bulbacon is going to die the illusions here. As IG, multiple buybacks. OG start retreating a little bit, but Anna thinks about it. He knows how strong he is. He can still keep on going. In fact, he's going to try and go and help out Jerex to get aggressive. Good play by Jerex. Getting onto the high ground. Also rampaging on Q. Like Mana, he's just going to keep on rampaging through all of these heroes. They don't have BKBs. They don't have the AOA damage to be able to deal with his illusions. He stays right to the center. That centaur, that centaur starts with the blood rate. He kills the centaur, but he finally oh. dies. What the hell are the neutrals doing? They're, they're playing for IG. IG's like, we need a sixth hero. <laughs> they recruit him into the guild. This is very scary now. TA and DP doesn't have buyback. If they die again, Fnatic might just clutch this, no pun intended. <laughs> the wolf scouting out faded. Not everybody else though, I'm not sure if they saw the smoke at Jeet. It's actually going in himself. X isn't committed. They want to try and sneak that away right from under Fnatic's noses. The Citadel coming in to confirm this. They don't, they don't have, have any vision. They don't the see coming in. Roshan almost there to bet. Where the hell are you? This is your time to shine. There's running in, but BKB the summon already invaded. But Ajit, he's Ajit cannot of, die. He cannot die at all, but he very well might abet in the center. But the rock being dropped. Everyone's fatal bombed it. Puck dies first. Ajit still standing with the BKB. Sounds right to way universe. It's finally pops his ultimate, but 
This time it is a man who gets the Aegis. Trigger up immediately though, and Envy has also fallen in the middle of this fight. RG, can he they keep him alive though? He's back. Back. Oh, he is down for good. Second. Next on the list, the battle's going super happy. No, I don't he's need he's me. next. And he is down. Ultra kill for Storm Spirit. Rampage. As he find another one. I mean, the lanes are awful, at least. Tower is what I meant to say. He's being taken. Ah, yeah. you're absolutely right. They're going high ground. Catapult waves here, 20 Dyer's minutes in. Tower. Usually when we think about the kind of peak of, com of, of complacency draft and the Drow Ranger kind of thing is 20 minutes. They should be doing the thing, this thing here to the enemy team, not, not the other way around. But Terraplade with that and power on him. He's doing, what, 400 damage a hit or something insane. He's going to get multicasted. And oh, did that arrow go through? It did, through the map, but the RP lands. Hits on the two with a supernova on top. Ramsey's still alive. Finally loses the Aegis, but he's got a Sunder when he comes back. Oh, turn the heavy trap as the opponent hits Z Freak in the cleave. Onto the back of the Ogre gets tapped, and the Battle Hunger will chase him back to Fountain. A triple kill for Solo, some way, somehow. This man is a monster. Look for more. Get a fall. It's an ultra kill. Oh Give God. him the Rampage. Go on. No, Solo. Kill him. Rampage for Solo. He gets it. Oh, they did it! First oh, bro! That's so funny, him missing the... <laughs> this the pressure, isn't it? team were watching him, you know? Like, <laughs> it's like skewering him back, like giving it to him, you know? Yeah. At this tournament, like, their coordination's been on point. Their drafts, for the most part, have been pretty damn solid. Yeah, they've come in with game plans every single time that I've seen them playing here. Before the matches start. That's a Roche. Will look to be secured. Infamous wants to try to contest this. Uh oh, the stun connects. Whisper. Yeah, Whisper. He can't get into the pit because of that. He's held outside. They do try and jump in, but the Hex is there straight away onto Pepita. He oh, tried to go for the big play. Crystallized Kronos. Nobody apart from his own teammate. See if that matters. It actually does get Seneco killed. Because he was in the Chrono, he could have popped the egg. Navi, they've lost two. Crystallized and Magical still looking to fight strong. Looking towards Tomato, Tomato. Duking it out. Turning around towards Crystallized. He gets Crystallized as well. Chu is trapped in the pit. Chu's going to die too. Tomato. It's an ultra kill. They're going to be able to kill this Magical as well. They've taken the Aegis. They're setting up to kill him again. Give that man the rampage. Oh, yeah. My, oh God. well, I don't know how much uh, Crystallizer's gonna be sweating right now, but I can guarantee we're gonna get a few buckets out of there. Him chronoing the Phoenix, meaning the Seneco could not supernova or offer anything to really disrupt that flow of the fight. Fexx is able to zip back to safety. So IG getting away there with that fight. Very nice disengage. They got out with uh, by the skin of their teeth on several heroes, but Boca lives with like 100 HP. Then XXS lives with like 100 HP and Q as well. See, Ame is pretty happy right now, zooming in the mid lane at 700 XP. Oh, bottom though, aggressive. Bottom. He stayed out a little too long. Aggressive. Tree. It doesn't hit. And he lives. Oh no. And now the turnaround. They're in. The Fisher, the Zip, they're on top of both of them. Chalice, he's popped Somnus. He's now surrounded. f does come in, does get the Doom down onto XXS. As XXS will surely fall, Arme turning up a look at the speed of this man. Gets tossed forward as well. Arme zipping around oh here on the God. Bloodseeker. Picks up the double, gets the triple, getting Q as well. That'll be an ultra killer. Buyback is there from Baboka. He's deeping across the shot. He knows Somnus is low. He wants to try and fight it. Arme with the BKB, BKB. down though. The blood right out. He looks towards Aggressor getting the bashes, killing off the Spectre. Spectre dodge. That's the rampage for Arme. Why into the trees? Give him the double. Oh my there God. it is. Double rampage for Arme. X Frostbitters held down. Could it be a triple rampage? Yes, it's it could. A triple <laughs> rampage for Army. You gotta be kidding me. This guy, Ame started. He was one in seven before this. <laughs> If they can initiate on the Bloodseeker, that allows TNT. the Sparks to keep playing going. They have to buy back on the Bloodseeker and TP him in towards the Shrine. This is the only way that's going to work for TNC. Thor is the distance. S4 holds in. Very tight. The Beastmaster Hawk giving him the vision. They know that Roshan's so low, but they have to go now. Where's this Blink Fire Strike? In it comes. Roshan, who's going to get the kill on this one? Cricket, the Solar Fire Strike. Roshan, now the Storm is down. Roshan, Arteezy gets it. They have the kill, but here comes your Eclipse with the Clay. Bounce damage. People, geniuses, they are locked in a horrible, horrible.
Rumble scenario. Samel's back up, so is Arteezy. They have a regeneration rune. Maybe they actually have the sustain to do this damage. You have to have Arteezy stand his ground. He has the BKB so the Glimpse Rupture doesn't kill him. But now they charge after. They're looking for Disruptor. The Forest Strike from Tim creates more space. And you have Raven. I don't know how he's managed to live through all of this. The Fatal Bonds haven't killed him off. They get the pass onto Armel. Your Scepter is SK. Taking out the fight for half a second, but he's got Blink Fire Strike off right now. And he goes deeper off the wall. Of Understand the Armel already has an Ultra Kill. Make it a rampage. And they can get more. Crit got Glimpse down again. They still have extra vision thanks to Thunder Strike. Armel, they turn for it. Will they give him the double? You better. Tim, that is not yours to have. This is not your food. There it is. It's a double rampage for Armel. TNC, they can look towards the base. The mid rack's already gone. The top lane's pushing him. They've got the momentum. Fanatics team fight. They're going to be real hard pressed to defend this next push. This is healing all in ish from Liquid. There it really is. Gold lead is rapidly going away. Abed is such a good job of catching up. He's created his own space. Now he's on a killing spree. Started the game 0-3. The XP difference heavily in favor of Fnatic with the 5 amp from Liquid. The range rack still severely damaged to the melee racks as regen back up to full. Life drain. It's going to be stopped by the familiars. And good track him over the top. Here comes CJ with the epicenter. Looking to be able to blow up Curl. And he just might be able to have it too. If the mech goes off, they manage to get some heal off. No, Abed almost got it with a whirling plate. They managed to get it with the Biz Coil. Now the Ice Blast. Yule Scepter buys him a little bit of time, but they should be able to get the magic damage out, especially with the Tough Man throwing down that Nova. Universe pops his borrowed time. Meanwhile, the Treants are actually doing a lot of damage to the melee racks. They've got to be able to deal with that, as well as the heroes. Universe trying to run back, but he's going to be stopped out by GH. Familiars buys a little bit of space. Gets off an Evonic Shield. Still dead. Double kill from Tumba Man. Melee racks will fall now. And Pugna, he's bought back as well. Looking to be able to chase down Pile I Die underneath these tier fours. What a kick! Right as DJ came in, still managed to get off the bro strike onto two. Pile I Die turns, fights on the Tumba Man, knowing that he's gonna be dying from this poison. Kuro's now here, but Envy's gonna be able to take down at least the Venom There's one. Kuro fights this out with the live drain. DJ has a bro strike. Holding on to it for the time being, waiting for the retreat. Man double gets a two-man bro strike. Nice setup for Eternal Envy to be able to finish off at least one of these kills. And now looks for more. The familiar's coming in, ready to go with the drop. One on my control. A second one falls, hits G. GH in the side lane as well. Triple kill for Envy. GH rolls over the cliff. Might be able to escape, but DJ still managed to get him with a blink dagger. Kick away. TP out. An ice blast coming in. Eternal Envy managed to get the ultra kill, and DJ dodges the ice blast. So Heen, he's going to be next up on the list. He's actually got a hurl boulder coming his way. Familiars are on their way as well. This is going to be a total wipe. Rampage! Rampage for Envy, set up in a lot of ways by DJ Sand King. And Envy haters might have been rejoicing last game, but this game around, Envy has done above and beyond for his team. It's gonna be 19. It's gonna be 19. That's so 20 is coming shortly. Yeah, this it, it it really is. <laughs> that's a that's almost a level a minute. Is that? I'm sure it's been done in some random game, but in a a, a major. That, that's insane. It's a good player. He has plenty of good backup around him, too. Good team. He has that blur on top of the living armor as well, by the way, and an aisle. So speaking of, you mentioned last game. Oh, Lord have mercy on his sins. 1,300 crit. I am saying He's a in. silent prayer right yeah. now for King RD. That, that just happened. If HFN goes down here, I think it's just curtains. But yeah, it goes back to the, they they have a team once again to save you. I I can't even say a word with the 1500 for crit happening once again. <laughs> Laughing beeps. I think Virtus Pro is gonna on their way at least to trying to secure this series two games to one. Obviously Tusk still under level. He just melts with the Mystic Flare. No one pretty deep in here, but they're already fountain camping and we're 21 minutes. Okay, okay. They actually okay. are. Yeah. Literally this is happening right now. <laughs> and literally it's working. And no one's dying. <laughs> what can you do? This is... This is the VP Are you ever kidding expected, me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No one does eventually go down with a huge crit again. And he's Double just ramp, killing everybody. Go for another rampage. Okay, finally the Aegis will be popped. Wait, what? And Solo leaves the game. What is happening right now? Okay, see, th there is maybe a Total little... Okay. Crash up there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I don't God. know. As I pull up my neck, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about uh, that. And look at him. Yeah. That's, uh...
Why? Why did I do this? I lost. <laughs> I lost my friend. His quadruple rampage. Oh, we're back. And we're back. And uh, oh, the bird's actually done. back into the game. No, he gets out. No, he will not. Oh, no, that's Pasha right there going down. Ramsey's realizing he has to fight on his own, and he too will fall. And that's okay. that's nearly a thousand gold going the way of Tava right there for that huh. kill. So yeah, that's quite the swing. Three thousand plus in favor of Pain Gaming. You have the Eternal Envy Razor, Space Creator, Lane Dominator, exactly the, the kind of play that we want to see from him. You have a Universe Farmer in that offlane Tidehunter, and then you've got an Abed hero that can go off. Lane Dagger finished on Envy as well. Liquid going to try for a play. They smoked up. Got the track on Abed. That, as you say, would be a massive kill for them to find. That now wears off him. Need the coil. He's not no. going to grab him. Arbed, he's out to the side of it. Just turn. Oh, mind <laughs> control. Oh. I know we've had a couple of players swap roles, and we saw we not had a couple of players swap PCs, and someone else is playing on mind controls. As now, Kuro just gets run down. Fnatic are just moving in for more. Matumalan trying to hold back up, but Envy's just up into the base, coming with the wraparound. The Shard, they're going to trap up both GH and Matumalan. It's a triple kill for Arbet. It's an ultra kill. Come on, give that man the rampage. They've got the slow. Arbet's going in. There's the rampage for the Spider as Arbet hits the godlike streak. 29 to 8. 17k lead. I don't know who I did idea in the liquid camp it was to switch these rolls around, but um, I'm sure they're for now and Moose should be able to TP out to safety feels like complexity's lineup never really came online yeah All right we've just seen them trying to play catch up the entire game they just can't take any sort of fights at all and because of that they can't group up and use the uh the drow ranger for oh the pick boy for Moo gets glimpsed back doesn't have his bkb yet and you have to think that this is going to be an easy kill for beachy gaming again we do have support on the way but there's no way there's no way that's going to happen with Relocate down right now. Yep, 60 seconds, no Enigma, no Tier 3 Tower as well. Yeah, and of course Vici knows that he doesn't have buyback because he just used it in the last engagement, so... It's going to be a tough hold for Complexity on this mid racks as Young Eleven doesn't have healing order for 12 seconds, so... Has to be a little bit careful here. Blade Furies for now. Lots of damage being applied. Okay, the Astral Imprisonment. Where does he actually show up? He should show up where he got where he last Yeah, so he's going to be dead. Doesn't even able to get the he primal split up in time. So this could be a potential hold here for Complexity, but Limp getting destroyed by Ori from the range with that Hurricane Pike. A beautiful jump from the Omni Slash, killing one, two buybacks now for Complexity. They'll probably get this melee racks at the very least, if not more. Z Freak into the Static Storm. Down he goes, buyback as well. And this looks like all. the beginning of the end for Complexity in game one. Sandy's Eclipse to finish it off. That is a rampage for Ori. And, and it might be a rampages. double rampage instead yeah. of my god. Oh boy. That is one fat OD. GG well played come out. Complexity losing 23 minutes to each. I was not expecting that bad. I was no, expecting this was... to be a pretty even series overall. Of course, it's only one game. Drafts mean so much yes. in Captain's Draft. And it just the Enigma. Good in theory, just needed so many items this game, wasn't able to get there. The drafts really show.